Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you the basic steps to making a new individual reservation. For some hotels, the preferred method to begin the reservations process is from the rate quote screen, so we'll start there. Click the link below if you're not familiar with the rate quoter or would like more detailed information. Our first step is to select the arrival date, length of stay, and number of guests. If your guest has requested a special rate program, such as corporate, senior, AAA, or government, you should select that here as well. Remember that we have to click the View Rates button to update the screen. We've got lots of room types available to offer our guest. After discussing the various rooms and rates with the caller, they've chosen a Business King room. I'll select the Reserve hyperlink to continue. You can see all the stay information I entered earlier has carried over from the rate quote screen. If your hotel uses the new reservation link instead of rate quote, this is where you're starting from, so you'll enter the stay information and check availability from here. Now it's time to enter the guest's personal information. These yellow shaded boxes are the required fields that must be completed before we can save the reservation. Each hotel defines their own requirements, so your system might have different fields highlighted than what you see here. My guest has stayed at our test hotel before, so instead of asking for all their information, I'll click this ellipsis to find her guest profile, which will fill in the details for us. If this is a new guest, you'll need to enter the information manually. The guest has requested a room close to a vending machine. Normally, I would use a special request for that, but vending machine is not on the list. I'll have to leave a note in the comments field instead. The guest profile filled in the guest card info, but it's good practice to confirm with the guest before using that card to hold the reservation. The remaining fields don't apply to this reservation, so I'll review the details with the guest for accuracy, then click Save to complete this reservation. Done. I'll give the confirmation number to the guest and close the Reservations tab. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Please feel free to contact your account manager or our Customer Support Center for additional questions.